Hi Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, this is a general and a timeless reading. It's not personal, but if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session with me, or an Akashic Record session, feel free to check out the box below. It has my website, 144bluerosetemple.com, and my email. You can also join us on the Lionsgate portal 88 for an intro to the Akashic Records workshop with an Akashic meditation at the end with both me and Kai. So feel free to check that out below as well. Thank you for all of your love. Thank you for all of your support. If my energy resonates with you, feel free to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out. We're going to get right to your reading today, Pisces. Divine Mother, Divine Father. What do we have for the Pisces today? Did that fall face up? What do we have for the Pisces today for their highest good and for the highest good of all beings? The Great Mother, surrender to the mystery, fall into her arms. There's something Pisces that like you might be worried about. Yeah, because as I've split the deck, I get trust the seasons, embracing change and cycles. All right, you're in a cycle of surrender right now, surrendering to the Great Mother. You're going through a lot of transformation, and I see like the cosmic womb. So you're going through a lot of transformation right now, and, and really in the womb of the Mother, okay? And it says, fall into her arms. There's something it is like timing. You're worried about timing, but the timing is perfect. The timing is divine. It's going to happen exactly as it should. Um, but you're worried about it. Again, it could be like earthly concerns, worldly concerns. There could be deadlines or things like that. But everything is truly happening as it should. And there's a need for you to just surrender to divine timing. Okay. I'm even getting Kalima energy here. Kalima is like coming through. I'm going to grab this deck down here actually. Because the Kalima, when it comes to divine timing, it feels like truly like the divine mother is, yeah, and you have earth magic. The divine mother is really supporting you at this time. You're going through a big transformation. You could be seeing butterflies as well. I'm getting specifically, specifically monarch butterflies. Beautiful energy, and you have, you are a healer. Earth magic, you are a healer. Expand your consciousness. You're going through a big shift and a big change, Pisces, okay? You are a healer. You have earth magic. Some of you use, like, a specific cauldron. I'm seeing, like, a cauldron. What do we have for Earth Magic? You are a healer and the Great Mother. Mm -hmm. You're going through a big transformation over here, Pisces. I'm also getting Hecate, um, the energy of Hecate. The secret of Camelot, the authority of spirit. All right. Some of you have placed intentions and you need to know that those intentions are materializing for you. It may not be in your timing or what you would like, but um, these intentions are materializing for you. Okay, I feel like you're very powerful in what it is that you do, right? You're very magical. Some of you could be medicine men or women. I'm getting very like witchy, priest, priestess energy type of thing. We're going to see what this is for you, Pisces. Some of you, you're very powerful. There's a situation in your life. You do have seven of cups. The bottom of the deck is judgment. There's a situation in your life where there's some form of like judgment. There's a situation in your life where you have to stand in your divine light. There, like for those of you who are worried about something has power over you, nothing has power over you, okay? It was 444 as I said that. Surrender to what's going on right now because nothing can have power over you. Did anything fall face up? No. Why do we have the page of wands here? I'm gonna grab three cards. 
Why the Page of Wands with the Nine of Wands? Who is this King of Wands? The Emperor. Okay, there's someone in your life over here, Pisces. Could be Aries. There's a lot of Aries energy here. Mm. Yeah. Nothing and no one has power over your free will, Pisces. You hear that? There's a lot of Aries energy here. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Page of Wands, Nine of Wands. I feel like there's someone in your life, Pisces, that this feels like either a parallel timeline or a soul contract that you're clearing at this time. And um, this is a lesson for you to not take complete control over this. Like you're very powerful. So you really don't have to do much in this situation. Protect yourself. Um, there's someone that you're dealing with right now that it's like some sort of conflict with them. I'm seeing you very careful in how you deal with the situation. Like you have to come from love, Pisces. You're very powerful. Nine of Cups over here. You did have the Devil card when we came out with the Emperor and the King of Wands. It's a masculine energy. I don't really like this energy. There's a need for you to surrender to this situation because you do have the authority of spirit, okay? Your words are very powerful. Your intention is very powerful. Your thought is very powerful. And so there's a need for you to stay centered when it comes to this King of Wands energy. You have the Hermit over here. All right, what's this Page of Wands here? The Chariot, the Empress. Where's, what's the Nine of Wands? Yes, so Nine of Swords. There's an energy over here, Pisces. I'm getting a message as soon as I say that. Nine of Wands, you've been dealing with this person. It's a Three of Swords energy. Nine of Wands, you could have been dealing with this for a while too because you have Three of Swords and Nine of Wands. Feels like this is someone in your life that causes conflict. Um, again, this is just conflict here with this person, okay? You have a soul contract, so I feel like you're clearing this karmic energy right now. They've tried to hurt you in different ways. You have the Hermit card, Virgo. But you're very powerful, Pisces. Um, and so I do feel like in this situation, there's a need for you to know who you are. No matter what they're trying to say against you, do. They want to push your buttons. They want to hurt you in different ways. S remain in your divinity. It's like knowing the soul contract, right? And, and what I'm getting actually is a little bit of prophecy energy. I'm going to grab a card on that. I'm getting a little bit of the prophecy energy where it's like you understand the soul contract. You could also know how it ends. You know, uh, no weapon form shall prosper. 808 as I say that. Um, so whatever this person is trying to do, whatever they're doing in your life, this too shall pass. Um, and there's a need for you to know that. You know, so it's like be feeling safe and not letting this person get to you. You have healing the earth, love, humility, and respect. Okay, and then the radiant self. In this situation, you're asked to remain in love. This person does not want you to remain in love. Like this, whatever this person does or has done, um, they push your buttons. They would like you to, they would like you to come out of like your loving self, right? They want to trigger you. And that's, I think, really what's here is like they want to trigger you in some sense but you're very powerful. Your words are very powerful. You do have the authority of spirit. You are a healer. So just surrender to what's going on right now and remain in love, humility, and respect even for this situation. And it doesn't mean not to set boundaries. Like don't let people like walk all over you, but know that this person wants to trigger you, okay? And so it's remaining in love knowing their manipulation tax tactics what's the chariot and the empress you're gonna have a victory pisces look at that six of swords you're going to have a victory and that's the thing it's like whatever's going on right now um this too shall pass okay i'm getting a lot of the prophetic energy where it's like you you do know the outcome of this situation just understand the soul contract so it's like while this person is doing this that or while this is going on it's like okay well i know how this ends i i, I know the soul contract so i'm just going to observe this play out 
as I do know how this ends, all right? And remain in love, humility, and respect, even like when it's hard, because it feels like this person wants to trigger you. It feels like this person's a little bit triggered by you as well. Six of Wands with the Nine of Wands and Three of Swords. I feel like sometimes like this, per your success could even trigger this person. Okay. Um, what? Why the Three of Swords? The Sun card. It's like. You're doing good, okay? The, the, like you're, and you are going to come out of this, Pisces. You are going to come out of this. Uh, Nine of Wands, Three of Swords. You've been dealing with this person for a while. You will come out of it. The Sun card. Um, this person triggers you. Um, it's a manipulation tactic of theirs. I don't even think that they know it, you know, but in essence, right, it's teaching you. And I saw, I saw a quote the other day that said, be careful who you discard, because that person who you discarded may just be teaching you. And that's very deep. You know, it's like even people that are like, oh, who cares about them? Or let's just release them. Like, of course, like, I mean, if you're going to release someone, release someone, right? It doesn't say not to discard people. But... Our triggers are our teachers. And so even the people who irritate the F out of you, they are still teaching you. It doesn't mean to keep them around you, you know, but honor having that respect, love and humility that they're still teaching you. So like those people who irritate you, especially when you're someone who maybe you are like of love and things like that. And it's kind of hard to irritate or trigger you. It's like, oh, wow, this person is triggering me. And they could very well be for a good reason, but it's still teaching you. Our triggers are our teachers. I do see you as wise. You have the authority of spirit. You are a healer in earth magic. So I do see you as wise. There's a need for you to shift maybe your perspective of this person. 12, 12, as I look at the clock, shifting your perspective of this person, 10 of wands. And it may even help with the situation where it's just like, this is not your enemy. This is some sort of teacher. Thank you for what you've teached me. I release you from my energy field. You know, why the king of wands with the emperor, the tower card? Why the king of wands with the emperor and the tower? Having strength. Okay, you have ten of swords. There is some sort of betrayal here. What is this betrayal to Pisces? Okay, you are doing fine, Pisces. You have Ace of Cups, okay? This person, I feel like, is more experiencing this because, again, it's like they're either conscious or unconscious of what they're doing. Manipulation, just like this negative energy. Strength, Ten of Swords. Okay, this person will learn their lesson. You have the Ace of Cups, so this, you do get an Ace of Cups, Pisces. What's the Ten of Swords for the other person? What's the Ten of Swords for the other person? You have the Lovers, you have the Six of Swords, and then you have the Five of Cups over here. Okay, they're going through something, maybe like in a relationship, like this could have been a relationship with you, Pisces, or this could be with something else. All right, why the lovers and the six of swords for the ten of swords regarding this person? The hangman in reverse. They're not surrendering over here. Page of swords. Um, they're not surrendering when it comes to some sort of loving connection. This could be you um, or it could be someone else over here. This person's not surrendering to what's going on here, though. Okay, you're being asked to surrender because this person won't. You know, and sometimes it takes the, again, love, humility, and respect. Have the humility. Because it's humble, right? It's very humble when someone is just in their ego in whatever it is. And then you're going to be like, okay, well, I'm going to be the one that comes out of my ego. I'm going to put my pride aside. And I'm just going to do what's right. That takes a lot of humility. And this person's not going to do it. So you're going to do it, Pisces. And you get rewarded for it, okay? How does this person view Pisces? This person sees you as happy. How does this person view Pisces? This person sees you as happy and having a lot of things going on for you over here. Seven of Cups with the Three of Cups. 
Like they see you as like having a lot of things going on. All right. How does Pisces view this person? How does Pisces view this person? Oh, you do not. Oh, this is how you view them. Okay. Seven of Wands over here. Um, two, two. You could be seeing two, 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 the numbers. Two of Cups, Two of Swords, you want nothing to do with this person. You want to block this person. You want nothing to do with this person. They see you as having a lot going on for yourself. Three of Cups with the Seven of Cups. There's just a lot of opportunity, a lot of abundance, things going on. You really want nothing to do with this person. Two of Cups, Two of Swords, okay? What's the outcome with this person? What is the outcome? Oh, why the Six of Coins? This person may want to come back. Why this? Yeah. Um, Nine of Cups. So. Can I have a card for what it is that I see? Yeah. Uh, King of Swords. This person. They're receiving judgment. You have the Six of Coins judgment. Okay. And with the Six of Cups and Five of Wands, it's conflict over here. All right. There's a need for you, especially Pisces, if you're one that you do want to defend yourself, you know, which if, like that's just natural human instincts. Like you want to defend yourself and things like that. This is someone like you can't, Ace of Swords, you really can't bring the truth to because they're just going to keep giving you conflict, right? And so this is someone that you walk away from you know you surrender the whole situation to god surrender to your higher self to the divine mother father and just let things be you do have great things going for you and this is kind of meant to distract you in a sense or trigger you um this person is nothing but conflict uh and they do they want to bring conflict to your life all right and so there's a need for you to stand in your truth you do have ace of swords um What's the specific advice for Pisces? Eight of Cups, walk away. Okay. Five of Coins over here. It feels like you're really walking away from this person. Why the Eight of Cups for advice? Walk away quickly. Eight of Coins, okay. Uh, Knight of Swords, Eight of Cups. It's your protection to walk away um, from the whole situation, okay? There's no need for you to prove your point. No matter what this person's saying or doing, uh, your peace is is maintained by you walking away, by you avoiding the situation, which I feel like you want to do two of cups, two of uh, swords. You, you want to avoid this person, okay? And I do feel like you're going to be doing that um, for your own peace because uh, this person does want to trigger you. Um, you have a lot of things going on for you. They don't like that, you know, and um, they're like, they just want to, again, like bring some sort of conflict. It's like someone who just wants to poke you know, um, it doesn't feel good. All right, Pisces, but you're going to have a great outcome over here. You are a healer. You're very magical. Um, this is someone, again, it's like parallel timeline, soul contract where they don't even see you anyways. You know, um, they could be from a past life of like someone, and I don't want to say the word enemy, you know, but like someone who like could have been an enemy or working against you and things like that. And so, this lifetime like it's just like they keep like trying to put you down or in any way that that is for you Pisces you know but this too shall pass and you just surrendering um, to the situation and allowing divine timing to take its course allowing a higher power to take over is really going to help out the situation again if you would like a personal reading a one-on-one -on -one personal session or Akashic Records feel free to check out the box below my website 144bluerosetemple.com or my email share your gift okay a lot of egyptian energy here as well share your gift um you are uh some of you work with musical instruments because i have a maraca and that maraca just fell um some of you work with instruments i'm getting also sound healers okay you're a healer you have spiritual gifts you have something to share you are a light pisces um, earth magic, you're magical. Again, that might even trigger this person. All right, so just leave that to the side. Keep doing what you're doing. It's meant to distract you, uh, but you're being guided to share your gift. All right. Uh, what else do we have for Pisces? Balance. All right, finding balance, stability, standing firm, wings of light, becoming something new.
uh, especially in the situation remaining grounded and balanced because this person really wants to just like take you out of your light all right they um it's just like an ugly energy through them they're not even really aware of it so that's the thing it's like forgive them they know not what they do why share your gift and why balance why share your gift and balance you have two cards that came out friendship seek out your soul family surround yourself with positive people spend more time socializing partnership teamwork will give you a better result find trustworthy people to partner with build up a supported uh build up a talented support team all right, Pisces, and that's the thing. You have, the way that they view you is the Seven of Cups and Three of Cups. Like, they may even be jealous that it's like you have all these people surrounding you. Uh, it does feel like you're meeting soul tribe and family. You have things going on for you, you know, and um, they're really just triggered by maybe, again, whatever they see in you, whatever we see in anyone, you have all of those things in your own light and in your own way. But that person isn't cultivating it for themselves, so they feel like a little bit jealous or whatever it is. And, and, and in response to that, they just like trigger you, you know, so it makes no sense. But you also have possibility. Raise your standards. Elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. Okay, you deserve a talented support team. You deserve to network, to collaborate, to bring in opportunities that are higher. All right, higher. August. August. We're on August 2nd. Lionsgate portal. Destiny. Fate. Fortune. It's higher, Pisces. Raise your standards. Raise your price. Raise your expectations when it comes to the people around you, when it comes to your own self. All right, because great things are coming in for you. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I do hope that it resonates. I'm sending you all so much love and so many blessings to your day.